with reporting and the reporting process. And by that, for me, I mean that can be financial reporting, that can be preparing prospectus to go for an IPO, that can be preparing a business for an M&A, doing due dil diligence on an acquisition. It can be reporting just on ESG factors. That's how I define reporting. It's all those steps within that process. Now, reporting used to be just something that would happen to give to a regulator. I think that's all changed now. Reporting has to be very central to how a business is going to communicate with its shareholders and stakeholders with the world outside. So when it comes to ESG and financial reporting, what you're trying to do is you've got financial data and non-financial data. Now, we do have ESG frameworks that we're trying to use to measure carbon, measure our impact, measure society change, but it's still quite a young, a young system that we're dealing with. So I think it's very important for businesses to think of the data, the metrics and the statistics that they're presenting because statistics and data can be presented in any format. But actually taking the time to give guidance, to bring clarity and to be transparent with what your strategy is trying to achieve is key because that's what's going to build trust. So having a very clear reporting line and a system embedded in a business over the course of 12 months, deciding what you're going to report, when you're going to report it, and the objective. What messages are you trying to convey with your reporting? That's why reporting is so critical these days, because really people want more information. They want more data, but they need to be given it in a manageable way that makes sense. That's what running a good business going through the ESG transition needs to focus on.